Let's look at problem number four of exam number one from an old practice exam from ECE 207. This particular problem asks how long it will take the voltage in a capacitor to reach minus five volts if it initially at time t equals zero is equal to one volt. Its capacitor value is 10 microfarads and the capacitor is losing three times 10 to the minus. 10 coulombs of charge every millisecond. If you don't feel comfortable with where to start, just remember you have ice, which is a way of giving us a reminder or hint as to what the current voltage relationship is of a capacitor. That simply says that the current flowing through the capacitor or the effective current is C dV sub, dV sub C dt and so the displacement current of the capacitor is related to the time rate of change of the voltage across that capacitor. Pictorially what we have, here's our time axis and here is let's say the voltage of the capacitor we're starting at one volt and we're losing charge and we want to know how long it takes this capacitor voltage to actually get down to minus five volts and we would like to know then what is this time if we call that T1 we're trying to measure then or calculate what that time is from let's say T0 equal to 0 to T1. We know ice or I is equal to C dV sub C of T dt but it looks like we're trying to find V as a function of time and we're given how fast we're losing charge. We were told that we were losing charge the delta Q or the change in Q was 3 times 10 to the minus 10 coulombs per millisecond or per one, 0 0.001 seconds. And that's really telling us our current that's flowing in the capacitor, our current is this amount of charge per unit length of time and in this case it's 3 times 10 to the minus 10th all divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 3 or that gives us then this 3 times 10 to the minus 7 and then we're actually losing charge we're not gaining charge so we're really looking at a minus 3 times 10 to the minus 7 coulombs per second or amperes. That's our current that we have. We can now solve for our voltage in I is equal to C dV dt. We can simply say that we know that dV sub C is equal to 1 over C I dt where that's I sub C this allows us now to integrate from a T sub 0 to a T1 of dV sub C of tau, which is now 1 over C, that's just a constant, T sub 0 to T1, I sub C of tau, d tau. And what we know from this statement in the problem is that our current is actually constant and that allows us then to say that V sub C of T1 minus V sub C of T sub 0 is equal to 1 over C. We know what C is, that was given. Then this constant current, it's not a function of time. We can pull that out and we now have this integral from T sub 0 to T1 d tau. We were told that this value was 5. This value, 
I'm sorry, that value was minus 5, this value was 1, and C we were told was 10 microfarads. And I sub C we just computed to be this minus 3 times 10 to the minus 7 amperes. And the only unknown, we're assuming that T sub 0 is 0. That's our origin in the time axis. The only thing that's remaining that's not known in this particular expression is the final time T sub 1 that it will transition from 1 volt to minus 5 volts, or it's now going to go minus 6 volts is equal to this 1 over 10 times 10 to the minus 6 times minus 3 times 10 to the minus 7. This is now tau evaluated from 0 to T1. The lower limit goes away, and we now have minus 6 times 10 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by minus 3 times 10 to the minus 7 is actually equal to T sub 1. These minus signs cancel. The 3 and the 6 clean up a little bit, and we are left then with the following. T1 is now equal to 2, and we now have this 10 from this location, and if we just deal with our exponents, we now have minus 6 minus a minus 7, or times 10 to the 1, and that gives us then 200 seconds for our time that it's going to take us to transition between a voltage starting at 1 volt and going to minus 5 volts we now have figured out what T1 is actually equal to, and that T1 is equal to 200 seconds.